Harper High School, south side of Chicago. First day of school this year, first thing in the morning. Everybody gathers in the gym for a beginning of the year assembly. The school's principal, Leonetta Sanders, is at the mic. I need us to begin to quiet down. The program is one-third pep rally, two-thirds business, introductions and rules. Exactly the kind of first day stuff you would expect at any school. Till it's not. Think about and remember the students that have fallen. So at this time, I'm just going to ask that we take about 20, 30 seconds just for a moment of silence for Marcus Nunn, Cedric Bell, and Shikaki Atsy right now. Watching this, it's hard not to think that if you grafted these facts onto another high school in a wealthier place, maybe a suburb, dozens of students shot, three of them killed. In other places, that would be national news, right? We would all know the name of that school. And then high school resumes. At this time, again, for the freshmen and some new students that are here, my name is Leonetta Sanders. I am On Friday of this week, President Obama went to a Chicago high school and spoke about all the shootings happening in our cities. We've all heard so much lately about kids getting shot. Last weekend was a funeral of 15-year-old Hydea Pendleton, an honor student who was shot in a park in mid-afternoon in Chicago just a week after performing at an inaugural event in Washington. Last year, the number of murders in Chicago rose, while in many other big cities like New York and Los Angeles, it held steady or fell. It was 506 dead in Chicago last year. But of course, these deaths aren't evenly distributed all over the city. The majority are in a handful of neighborhoods, like this one. This is Englewood. Police statistics show that it is one of the most dangerous areas of the city. Other administrators had to spend a certain amount of this first day back to school trying to convince worried parents that it is safe to send their kids back to school here this year. None of last year's shootings actually happened at the school. Can I talk to him on the phone? Uh-uh. <laughs> he don't want to come back. This is Assistant Principal Chad Adams and a mom who wants to transfer her son out. He doesn't want to come back, but he's been with us for two years. I know. And we've, we've put so much time and work and love into him. We want him to stay. I know. And what was the reason? That you told me the grandmother said something. What was she saying again? She said she don't want him up here because they're fighting and, and the stuff going on. We could not fit this all into one program. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our story at Harper this week, and we're going to continue it next week. From WBEZ Chicago, it's This American Life, distributed by Public Radio International. I'm Ira Glass. I hope you'll stay with us.